Just like the high maintenance preacher that I know he is. This yes, is I am. Steve Hudson. This is your FCA pit pass, the FCA motocross. Steve, how's this weekend going? It, the weekend is almost done. I have uh, probably about another hour left. And there's some guys that really did well, but there's some guys that didn't do, do so well. And I'm going to go by and talk to them. Yeah. What's um What's your weekend look like at a race? It's a long day. Uh, it started at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts, a lot of people talking to me about I need to talk with you today, and then uh, organizing tickets since this is kind of a local race for us, and then uh, chapel service at 12, and then starting talking to uh, all the people doing a premarital this afternoon. Some people are getting mar married, and then. Some people having some hard times, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then uh, kind of get ready for the evening, and uh, you know we just finish, so I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So since you're so VIP, yeah. where <laughs> where do you stand for the race? Well, I usually try to stay down where the guys are coming out. Um, it's really cold down there, but uh, they get a chance to look at me. You know, and sometimes that's cool for them. I don't know, maybe it is, but they see me and they're usually a little nervous. So I chat with them a little bit and say, you know, talk about anything but racing. And then uh, they get ready to go race. Yeah. And then I stand down behind the start line and then I go up to the uh, podium after, the, after whoever wins and high five and talk to the crew and then get back and do it again and then uh, like I just gave uh, Justin uh, Barsha and his mom um, directions to where their car is, yeah. the gold parking lot, and uh, high five Dungey and uh, saw Mr. Carmichael coming up the podium and said, this is how the chappy rolls <laughs> on the back of a four wheeler. <laughs> so, okay, so FCA camps, tell yeah. me, tell me why somebody should come to camp. Um, it, it is a place where they can get great instruction. Um, it's an environment when you get away from your home that you're going to enjoy hanging out with kids uh, from your area and then some that are not from your area, getting to know different people. The dorm atmosphere is a blast. The food's a lot of fun. Um, you know, the motorcycle aspect is a lot of fun. Having a pro there and being tall and uh, it's structured and it's fun. But I like the kids when they are playing ping pong, I like to get involved there and all the pros do. And then, you know, maybe playing horseshoes or hanging out in the swimming pool or, or bouncing on stuff in the lake. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, there's, it's, it's a win-win situation. And then for the parents to be able to come in and see, they spend a lot of hard money to get the kids there. And then the parents come and see what they've paid for. It's, uh, it's a great value for their kids, yeah. Well, we're blessed to have you come to the camps and preach, being the um, professional on the professional circuit. So, uh, are you? We're going to see you this summer. Yes, I, I told uh, Mitch last year that I wanted to be a part of all the camps because it's it's something that I look forward to. I enjoy um, seeing youth uh, make a decision and and to be able to tell them the truth. Seeing the world of Supercross, this big, va all these trucks and all this money and all this stuff that I can take an eight-year-old or a 12-year-old or a 16-year-old and say, hey, look, here's the principles that'll help you get to where you need to be and will guide you and help you through life from early age. I, it's one of the most important things I do. I love being a part of this, but I really look forward to going to camp. Yeah. 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 Okay, thanks, Steve. Thank you, Donita.